What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cephalon Surgeon. And um got me a little cheap chainsaw today. Got a gas. I know y'all like, oh Seth, I thought you were going uh electric battery power with the chainsaw. I was. But and I'm still gonna keep it because it's good, good for some use. I'll probably do a TikTok talk talking about why I still feel I need a gas power chainsaw. And this is why I need a gas power chainsaw. <laughs> uh, this is a nice little or uh, kind of big crepe myrtle. Um, I don't even know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I got to trim it. Let's get to it. Yes, sir. All right, people. So this particular customer wants me to uh, hedge up this crate myrtle. Um, I told him like I, I tell people a lot of people prune crate myrtles horribly. They chop off the tops because they don't want it to get to this umbrella shape. But I think this umbrella shape is amazing because it, it creates a natural canopy. But the thing about it is you have to prune it because what happens with creating myrtles, it starts with like one or two um, trunks and then they try to sprout new trunks. And if you're not consistently cutting those other trunks down, they turn into a whole, they turn into this. <laughs> so... What I am going to attempt to do is get anything that is going sideways. We want it to go straight up. So anything, I'm going to try to go into the base of it some. Clean up some of that base area and reduce the amount of trunks we have. He also wants me to do this quick murder. So I'm only doing two of these and I'm hedging a... Um, bush over there or tree so he hired me for two hours worth of work so i'm not gonna be here for more than two hours yes sir all right people here's what we working with this chain thing looks nasty it's a good old craftsman s 145 little 14 inch do hickey just needs something to uh, I don't even know what that does like I said I'll explain to you why I got it and uh the tipsy time hope I'm not taking something apart that I'm not supposed to be taking apart oh that takes off the top okay makes sense <laughs> Have to figure out how to start this bad boy. I already put um, some bar and chain oil in it. Put some two cycle gas in it. That stuff goes right here. Bar and chain, two cycle. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this bad boy up and get it going. All right. So don't got my tripod. So. Y'all gonna have to make do with what I got. Firstly, let's figure out how to start this bad boy. Safety on. Let's go. Okay, so that's the stop. That's the run. Climb this 10 times. Pull this out to choke, I'm assuming. Oh, 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 oh. 
I don't know why I thought I could put all this in the back of my truck. I just started. <laughs> my plan was to chop it up small enough to fit in the back of my truck. But we're making some progress. I'll show y'all what we're working with in the back. All right, people. I think that's all the trimming I'm gonna do on these trees. I think the main thing to make this thing clean up is I'm going to have to clean up this bottom area. If I can clean up a bit, get rid of some of these vines and stuff, that'll make it look good. That one didn't have too much trimming to do, a couple of branches there. But yeah, I was hoping to cut this stuff up and put it in the back of my truck. I'm still going to attempt to do that. But um, yeah. All right, people. I got it all cleaned up. Took me longer than I thought, but um, looks a little better. That one over there. They say you're gonna get the rest of the trees, like this one and those taken down, because they got all the stuff all over them. But you want to keep the crepe myrtles, shape them up some. So that's that. Anywho, I'm about to head to the house. Oh yeah, yeah. Let me show you all the aftermath. I filled up this. And I filled up um, the back of my truck. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Stay tuned. Yes, sir.